How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary and today we're doing another weapon review of one of the new Forge weapons for this week in Destiny 2 and it is called the Infinite Path 8. It is from Lost Prophecy Verse 8. It's a pulse reveal that you would get from your boy over there on Mercury Mr. Vance. So if you like these kind of review videos, please make sure to tap that like button so we know you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about the Infinite Paths 8 and let's get right into the review here. So, when I heard there was a pulse rifle, another one pulse rifle, some an energy pulse rifle, I was like, ooh, this should be interesting. I saw the image of it, and I was like, this thing looks pretty freaking cool. Then let's try it out. And so, uh, the, I'll get, run through the perks here, uh, and then I'll run how I like to roll with it, and I'll let you know my opinion on the whole thing. So, starting out here, we do have the uh, arrowhead break which uh, you know, decreases the range and stability, but increases the handling, so your ADS speed is a little bit faster there. Uh, corkscrew rifling, where uh, you know slightly increase the range and stability, and slightly increase the handling speed as well. So, and, but it's a little more of a decrease compared to the handling, uh, compared to the arrowhead break. And then you also have full bore, which uh, really increases the range, but you get decreases stability and handling. Now, uh, it depends how you want to use this weapon. Uh, I found that uh, since this is a lightweight weapon, it does a lot better at uh, close to mid-range kind of stuff. Longer range stuff, you kind of struggle with the recoil where you'll actually definitely notice the bolt spread going like one, two, three on the burst. So if you're trying to get guys at long ranges, you'll actually kind of aim at the chest and then there'll be like chest shot, but upper chest head shot kind of thing. So um, maybe actually probably would, I kind of like rolling with core screw rifling just because it's a little bit easier to aim. Also, I'm playing on console, so... That plays a big part when it comes to your perk selection there. And so, and then the next set up over here we have the magazine perks. Uh, personally, I like to run with accurized rounds because it increases the range on the whole thing there. Um, and obviously you can go with alloy mag, which does uh, uh, faster reload speed when the magazine is empty. But that's really only useful maybe when doing uh, PvE stuff. And then also you have drop mag with magazine drops. Magazine drops when reloaded, wasting ammunition, but greatly increases the reload speed, which makes it pretty much as fast as it really can be for reload speed, which is nice, but you do lose the ammo when you reload uh, before the magazine's done. And me, I have a really bad habit of reloading constantly, and so I would probably be losing a lot of ammo, so I like to use accurized rounds, which just straight up just increases the range right there. And the, and the trait on this weapon is Dragonfly. Precision kills create an elemental damage explosion, which sounds freaking awesome, right? Yes. That's what, that's, I mean, I remember, like, weapons in Destiny 1, like, having, uh, like, Pray This Revenge, Sniper Rifle, getting headshots, explosions going off and killing enemies around them. Now, uh, the Dragonfly ability on this is very similar to, say, I think it was called, like, the Black Hole ability or whatever for the uh, Graviton Lance, where, um, Rather than shooting like little black holes that deal out damage, it just kind of creates an explosion. And that explosion is very underwhelming at best. <laughs> um, you'll see some clips here of uh, I me mean, like trying to kill some acolytes, and they're standing like right next to each other, shoulder to shoulder, and I can't get the kill on the other one because it only just takes on like a fraction of the health, maybe like 50% at best. It does stun them, which actually is a really nice ability to have, but. Uh, you know, you use this kind of perk because you want to, you know, create an AOE damage that could potentially kill other guy guys around them, which make this weapon really freaking awesome. But I think this kind of weapon falls uh, prey to the nerfing of, of uh, PVE focused weapons when you want to bring it to PVP. Because obviously, if you bring this weapon to PVP, you get a precision kill, and then create such an explosion, it can kill another guardian. Yeah, that's a little overpowered. But in PvE, that would be freaking awesome. But it doesn't happen like that. Best thing you do is you take out maybe a third of their health on like a really weak enemy and you stun lock them. But those guys are so easy to kill that it's not that big of a deal. And so ultimately, I'd probably you know avoid this weapon as much as possible. Uh, Destiny Item Manager has this currently rated at a 3.1. And I can only assume that weapon going down even lower, probably down to the Graviton Lance level of a one star out of five. So overall, this gun kind of sucks. Not really worth the grind on it. I'd suggest going with any other weapon because I guarantee I haven't unlocked all the Forge weapons. I can guarantee you most of them are going to be better than this one. So 
that would be my suggestion. Pick up verse eight as as the last weapon possible. That's literally that's the that's my gist on this weapon. So if you guys like this kind of weapon review and want to see more like that, please make sure to tap that like button, leave a comment down below what you guys think about the Infinite Paths Eight. If you think it's actually the best weapon in the game, and I'm just being a jerk, or if I'm correct, you know, or you say I'll have like uh, any other weapons you'd like to see me review in Destiny 2, please let me know. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to tap the subscribe button because we're always uploading awesome Destiny 2 and Halo 5 content on this channel. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.